Hey, what's up? It's Pete McCarthy here for the Stochastic DFS channel. Hey, we're looking at No House Advantage. We got a big slate on this Monday night. Nice eight gamer. We dig that. Uh, you got Steph Curry and the Warriors taking on the Pelicans. Jazz Clippers is a good game later. Also, the Bucks trying to get back on track against the Blazers. So, uh, some big time star power on the floor tonight. And we're looking at this for No House Advantage and specifically their pick 'em contest. Now, Give us a like, subscribe, keep up with all of our shows, our DFS offers, our giveaways. Once you do subscribe, hit that notification button. That's going to give you alerts when our shows go live. And don't forget that almost all of our content is available in audio form. So go to your favorite platform of choice and check out a podcast uh, from Stochastic. Give us a five-star review, too. We beg you. We beg. We beg. Uh, let's look at the uh, contest here for No House Advantage. Typical Monday here, $15 entry. 1,200 total entries, $5,000 to first place. Something to keep in mind. We typically see a lot of overlay, uh, especially on a Monday night where you have Monday night football as well. So what I like to do, I go in about 6.30 Eastern time and just take a look at where that contest is. Is it half full? Is it not half full? And if it's looking a little light, boom, I'm going to throw some lineups in there. Super easy to do with what we have for you. It's stochastic, free projections, free optimal lineups as well. We'll tell you all about that in a bit. But let's give you... One of our selections, this is one that you might be able to put in that 10-point spot tonight on No House Advantage. Kawhi Leonard, points, rebounds, assists, is at 31 and a half. Seems like a low number for Kawhi Leonard, but Kawhi Leonard isn't quite Kawhi Leonard yet. Uh, he only played 22 minutes on Saturday against the Spurs. It's his second game back. Look, he's still knocking off the rust. Uh, he is still working his way back from injury. The playing time hasn't really been there yet. And neither of the numbers, for instance, on Saturday, 11 points, four assists, one rebound. That's what we're looking at. 16 points plus rebounds plus assists. You're halfway to the number that he needs to get to. So he didn't do much in the previous game against the Pistons either. Uh, so very easy to go under on Kawhi Leonard until he shows that he's healthy and has the ability to play some big time minutes, which uh, certainly has not happened quite yet and you can see our free projections over at stochastic.com uh, they'll tell you about 25 points plus rebounds plus assists expected for Leonard tonight which will give you an 86 percent chance of hitting on this and all those projections are free go to stochastic.com check out NBA free tools and uh, you can go to no house advantage see the projections you can also uh, check out the optimal lineups and if you're in a rush late let's say maybe you see a lot of overlay you want to get some lineups in there you can just download the csv uh copy paste and enter some lineups into some nba contests and go about doing it that way as well so those tools are certainly invaluable to take advantage of what No House Advantage has over there. And as far as these pickup contests go, if you haven't played before, sign up now. The links is below. You get yourself a first match deposit bonus of up to $50. Uh, so you put in $50, they're going to give you an extra $50 to play with. Uh, of course, these pickup contests, you can play Monday Night Football, and you can check out another video here at Stochastic DFS and uh, find where that is, and then uh, get an idea of some of the uh, top picks for Monday Night Football tonight. Of course, when it's baseball season, you have pickup contests. You also could play against the house where, you know, let's say, for instance, you hit five out of five, you get 20 times your money. That is a big time prize as far as that goes, uh, especially when you look around the industry. So uh, you can check that out as well and play against the house. All right, let's get some more picks for you. Uh, let's go to Jordan Clarkson because the Utah Jazz are going to be without Mike Conley. The report this weekend was that it's going to be a couple of weeks without Conley, and now they're not sure if that's necessarily going to be the case. But at the very least, we just care about tonight, right? So we know Jordan Clarkson's going to be seeing the ball a lot more tonight. Uh, so I like the assists here. Three and a half assists is the number. Let's get over on that. The projections have him at right about five. Uh, and with Conley out, Clarkson typically sees his assists go up. When uh, Conley is not on the floor, Clarkson averages six assists per 36 minutes. Now, is he going to play 36 tonight? He'll be in that area. Uh, but six assists gets you pretty safely over the three and a half assist number. So uh, we're looking pretty good as far as that goes. And, and those numbers, courtesy of uh, Fantasy Labs, which you could check out. Nice resource when a guy is out and just kind of you know, give yourself an idea of who's going to see more usage and, and what stats change when somebody's out for a given team. 
uh, look, we're expecting more minutes with Colin Sexton and uh, some other players as well for the Jazz. But Jordan Clarkson is the guy with the assist that I think you could see the bump up. If you look back at his last game, he's really just scoring. That went up in a big way for Clarkson down the stretch in the fourth quarter. Uh, but now with a full game, with a little time to game plan for not having Conley, I think you expect Clarkson to get to at least four assists tonight. Uh, Elser, got a couple of Warriors for you. How about Steph Curry? Three and a half, three pointers is the line here. If you're not aware, Steph Curry is having a very Steph Curry season. Uh, one of the best performers in the NBA thus far this year. Uh, he has averaged over five three-pointers per game. Had seven triples yesterday. He's already done that six times this year. So Curry's got the hot hand going. He's Steph freaking Curry. So it's not hard to get over on this one. The projections like it. Over four and a half three-pointers for Curry tonight. They like this one at 80% to get to at least four three-pointers. Uh, so take a shot on Steph. And I also like pairing him with Jordan Poole, his teammate. Uh, looking at just getting to three assists tonight. The projections are there. And an 89% chance of this one coming through. Uh, look, Poole, as far as his scoring output, it's pretty inconsistent, right? He's all over the place. He can go out, score 30-plus points in one game, and then be in single digits the next. Uh, but the assists have been fairly consistent, at least three assists in six of his last eight games. And, you know, if we like Steph Curry going over on the three-pointers, I think it makes some sense to go with Jordan Poole over on the assists. They don't see a ton of time together on the floor, uh, but there is at least a little bit there. And if Curry's hitting a bunch of three-pointers, maybe the Warriors are running away. Poole gets some extra time down the stretch. A couple of different ways that those two numbers can work together. Uh, so I like checking that out. Uh, and one more pick for you here. We'll look at Jalen Suggs of the Orlando Magic. 30 and a half points plus rebounds and assists. Uh, we talk about Jordan Poole being inconsistent. Jalen Suggs is extremely inconsistent, right? It looked like he figured some stuff out on Friday against the Bulls at a game-winning three, had a big performance, and then followed it up with a stinker against the Indiana Pacers, just 25 points plus rebounds plus assists, and going right back to the same well uh, against these Indiana Pacers. So uh, let's look at Jalen Suggs under on this. The projections have him about 24 points plus rebounds plus assists. Is he capable of getting hot and, you know, picking up some points? And that's really how he's going to have to get there. Yes, of course, he's capable of it. But uh, we just haven't seen it consistently enough. That we can get under on this. And if you want to, you know, throw in Tyrese Halliburton getting to at least nine assists tonight, I think that's pretty safe as well. Uh, you could also look at that matchup with these two teams just played. And Halliburton had 14 assists in that game. Wasn't slowed at all by an ankle injury that had him as a game time decision. Uh, so another one that you can look at as far as that goes. So uh, check that out to play in the No House Advantage Pick'em Contest and try to land yourself $5,000. Not a bad way to start up Thanksgiving week, right? Now, Pete McCarthy, good luck.